this is going to be a very controversial message, but I'm going to do it anyway. And you'll either love it or you'll hate it, but it doesn't matter. The question today is, should Christians celebrate Halloween? I can tell you, it is a very controversial and debated subject amongst Christians, and it can cause disunity, it can cause um, division, but that's not what this video is meant to do today. It is meant to warn you, it is meant to open your eyes, it is meant to cause you to pause and think and really turn to God's word and see what he says about it. So I wanted to give you a tiny bit of history about what the Halloween holiday, how it started and, um, and, and talk about also God's word and show you how the compare and contrast of the two are. Okay. So we know that Halloween was originally a pagan holiday. I looked this up in the Encyclopedia Britannica and it says the souls of the dead were supposed to be, were supposed to revisit their homes. So these are dead people supposed to come and revisit their homes. And many people believed that ghosts, witches, goblins, black cats, fairies, demons, all the sorts would roam the earth and they would, they would channel into their, the God of death, the gods with the little G, the gods of death. And these gods of death would go out and spread all these evil spirits and they would harass humans. By doing so and so that was the whole purpose of dressing up was so that you looked like a demon and so that these evil um, spirits would pass by you okay that was the whole idea and obviously we can see that Christianity has put its twist on uh, Halloween and it has evolved over the years but this is the original paganism um, roots of Halloween. And I want to just tell you one thing that has been really astonishing for me to learn um, lately is the founder of the Church of Satan. His name is Adam LaVey, Anton LaVey, sorry. He declared this. He said that by dressing up for Halloween and or even celebrating Halloween, you are signifying that you allow Satan to own you. And when you adopt pagan practices, you dedicate yourself to the devil. And guess what else he said? He said, I'm so glad that Christians let their children worship the devil at least one night out of the year. Welcome to Halloween. This is the satanic founder of the satanic church. This is not my words, okay? Now I want to tell you what God's word says about this. Leviticus 19.31 says, Do not turn to mediums or ne necromancers, and that's what those were. Necromancers basically talk to the dead. Do not turn to mediums or necromancers. Do not seek them out, and so make yourselves unclean by them. By them. I am the Lord your God. And then... I'll give you a summary of what Leviticus 20 verse 27 says that the punishment of sorcery and that witchcraft mediums coming to mediums and necromancers was death. It was punishable by death. And that was the Old Testament. Well, in the New Testament, Galatians 5, 19 through 21, it says this. Now the works of the flesh are evident. They are sexual immorality idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, revelries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warned you as I warned you as I warned you before that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. 2 Corinthians 11:14 says, no wonder for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Halloween may seem so harmless, but I want to warn you. I want to warn you. You know, so many Christians these days 
are demonic oppressed. They Some people that are, don't know Christ have demon possession. If you've ever seen a person with demon possession or someone that's demonically oppressed, it is terrifying. And this is what happens. You open yourself up to the demonic realm because so many Christians believe that, a lot of Christians believe that the demonic realm isn't even real. That Christians are just kind of hyper fanatical. No, they're real. Demons are real. The devil is real. And there are demonic forces in the heavenly realms that we do not want to mess with. They are real. And so I want to warn you today, as harmless as it might seem. You know, personally, I haven't celebrated Halloween in over 20 years. And I raised my kids to do such as well. We just didn't partake. We didn't acknowledge it. And that's something that you have to choose for yourself. But I can tell you this from being around deliverance ministry and doing street evangelism and seeing all the demonic oppression that people walk around with and casting out those things from them, it's not worth it. It is so terrifying for me to, to, to even think about the fact that children are being just, they don't even know what's going on. They're being indoctrinated into this seemingly harmless act. And, I, and again, I know that it seems harmless, but remember that scripture I just read to you that even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. He's the great deceiver. He's the great liar. He comes only to still kill and destroy. It's only God that comes to give us life and life abundantly. But the only way we can stay away from his schemes is if we know the truth that sets us free. The truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ that sets us free. And I would challenge you to not only ask the Holy Spirit to show you the truth, but get into God's word, find out for yourself what it says, and also go and do some research. I've, I've heard so many testimonies from people that used to be in the new age. They used to be tarot card readers, witchcraft, sorcery. They used to sacrifice animals. They were Satan worshipers, witch, witches and warlocks. All of these testimonies of these people that have come out of those environments and guess what they all say halloween is a demonic night where demons are on the prowl and they use it to their advantage so no matter how much we try to make it into something that it really isn't it is demonic and i just pray that you will take precautionary measures that you will not Feel like you need to fit in with this world. Jesus told us in his word that we are to be set apart, to be in the world, but not of the world. To not partake in the customary, um, the customs of this world. The things that people are doing that they act like, oh, well, it's okay, you know. Everyone's doing it. We, we're not supposed to do things that the rest of the world is doing. We are supposed to be set apart. And you know, the Christians that are bringing people to Christ are not going to be the ones that are towing the line and living in that, that compromised state. No, the Christians that help draw others into the family of Christ are the ones who are walking a uncompromised life, not playing around with the devil, not playing into the games of, of the, Satan and his minions, no walking the line saying i refuse as for me and my household we shall serve the lord there is no way i'm going to partake in the devil's schemes so my friends brothers and sisters in christ i beckon you ask the holy spirit this halloween night what you should do with you and your family your children because it does matter and so i just want to reach out to those who maybe don't even know Jesus right now. Jesus wants to show you the truth and the life and the way. 
He is the truth and the life and the way. No one can come to the Father unless they come through Him. And so I want to give you an opportunity to just check your heart. Just check your heart. Maybe you have been feeling in your heart like, I don't want my life to be like this anymore. Maybe you've come to the end of yourself and you realize the way I'm doing my life isn't working. God wants to present salvation to you. The Bible says if you believe in your heart that Jesus rose from the grave, that he died on the cross for your sins before that, you will be saved. The Bible also says we confess him as Lord with our mouth. Jesus Christ, confessing him as Lord is saying, I'm going to live my life as you being the Lord of my life, directing my life, directing my path. It is laying down your life, surrendering your plans. If you choose or chose to do that today, I want to pray for you. So leave a comment below or send me a message. And thank you, thank you to those who always watch these videos. <laughs> Share this controversial message. <laughs> Share this video. We need to get the word of God out into the world. Share the video. Come and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. See you guys next time.